back to another episode of Let's Play Red Dead Redemption 2. My name is Kelthos, and in the last episode, we had sold some stuff at the fence, bought some provisions, and then we bought all the pamphlets he had that will teach us how to craft different things, and we read them. And then we were on our way here, and we saw some Lemoyne Raiders trying to hold up a wagon, so I tried to save the guy so that he would give us something, but instead, it's uh, in the process, he got scared and ran off, and his wagon took off in the opposite direction, so we didn't get anything out of it except for what we looted from the Lemoyne Raiders. And then we were on our way to the Greys when I had to go. So in this episode, we're going to get to the Greys and see what they want and continue on. We're already on their property, so it shouldn't take very long. So here we go. <clears throat> because Dutch had said that we need to get in good with them and with the Braithwaites and try to play both sides. What do you want, boy? Hi. Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Probably. Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. I don't want to talk to you. Okay. How? How am I dumb? All I did was come in here. Unless that's a really stupid thing to do, I guess. I don't know. Hello, sir. Hey, uh... I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boys okay. All the time in the world. Will do. Come on, horse. Where are you? Horse. The fuck? I don't know where you are, horsey. I don't know where you came from. Freaking weirdo, come on. We gotta go talk to Master Bo. Wherever the hell he's at. Hello, Bo. Are you Bo? You look like a scholar si scholarly sort. Hello there. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. <sighs> Excuse me, friend. We friends? <laughs> Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole Phalanx of the course of tree love too. Strangely I, helpful. Yeah. What happened to one? Place. Is there? What are you doing here? I just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? <laughs> Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Grays have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty then why don't you and stop? stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's... Like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We grays, we've always Nope, got money. he said no the magic words. Money. Well, in that case. I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Will do. Will do. Oh, look out for their Sneak into the grounds around They're Braithwaite Manor. Okay. Alright, so we can't get caught. You, can, you, you cannot use weapons. Yes, I know. Okay, so climb over the fence. 
<clears throat> hopefully I'm going in the right direction. Well, I mean, I'm going in the right direction, but I mean, hopefully I'm not on their property yet, is what I was trying to say. Hmm. I need to eat something else to make my stand or my, uh, that I core go up, but I don't want to do that right now. And because we can't use weapons, I expect I won't need it. All right, continuing. Jesus, this is some big ass property. I should have brought my horse. I didn't think it would be this far away. It's not that far. Not I hope my horse isn't too far away. Oh, he is. God damn it. Oh, well. On foot we go. What? Oh. My bad. Uh, we need to eat something to make our stanima core go up, like these, and then we need to eat something to, so that we have, like, a lot of stanima, like bitters, I guess you drink them, not eat them, but yeah, alright, let's go. Hmm? Braithwaite. Okay. <clears throat> so where do I need to go here? Just the whole big area? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Keep going. There's the big old house. I gotta wait for my stamina to recover. Come on. And... Almost. And go. Okay, sneak past the guards to Penelope. Okay. Don't get caught. Come on. How far away is Penelope? Oh, she's quite far away. So go this way. And go around maybe. Map. Yeah, go down that way and then sneak our way up. <clears throat> hmm. Back around this way. Right? <clears throat> Map. Yeah. over this fence, right? Yes. Okay. And then head this way. But I gotta be careful because there's a dude right there. Hmm. Can't 
let's swim across because I feel like that make too much noise. So let's just go up here. Okay. And then there's somebody at that house, I think, that is an enemy. Yeah, there is. So we just need to sneak around this way. <clears throat> Don't get seen. And we should be good. That was pretty easy. Zebo, or we don't have to sneak anymore, I guess. Hello, Penelope. Please don't freak out and scream for guards. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from uh... from Bo. <gasps> oh. He's <laughs> she so was expecting strange. it. Well, yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages, or, well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different, but if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. <laughs> Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, Ohio I, but isn't my that uncle awful. has a factory there. Boring. He was sort of the awful. black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are are there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty of course complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. Uh, well, maybe a bit. But here, <laughs> if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Leave the area without being seen. Why is it all red now? Like, how do they know? So we can just go south, right? Just straight south. Maybe. Hmm. <coughs> okay, we gotta sneak around here. Don't splash in the water. We're trying. Alright. So then once we sneak around here, then we can just keep going south. Yeah. <clears throat> we don't even have to sneak, I don't think. As long as I'm not wrong. Nope. Okay. Just keep going down here. There. Now we gotta go get our horse. So we gotta go back this way, but I feel like if we go that way, we're gonna be in trouble because it's Braithwaite stuff over there. But it should be further south, so it should be fine. Okay, so let's just keep going towards Bo and see if we can't get our horse. <coughs> Yeah. 
Never comes when the need. Of course not. Oh shit, there's a dude. So I'll wait for him to pass. And then continue along the way. Over here. And then we should be out of their territory again, so they shouldn't care. Every time. There. Damn horse. Ugh. Now I gotta wait for my stamina to recover, so hang on. Oh, I found some herbs when I was on my way. So let's see what these are. They are hummingbird sage. A hummingbird sage can be identified by their square stems and their deep purple flowers. A common place to spot these herbs is in dry shaded areas under dense foliage and trees in Lemoyne, the west side of West Elizabeth, as well as along both banks of the Kamasa River in New Hanover. When crafted into bitters or consumed, this herb will recharge your stamina core. Okay, nice. Let's see if we can't get some more of it. Pick. There's some more of it. Nice. Now, let's continue on. Oh, more. Grabby grab. Grabby grab. Can't grab anymore? Okay, well then let's eat this. Eat this. Alright, now let's continue on this way. Oh, I found some more stuff. Jeez, every time I stop, I find more stuff. Yarrow. But we've already discovered this one, so we don't have to read about it. <clears throat> okay, we found good old Mabel. Now we're gonna go back to Bew and tell him that we delivered his letter and that she gave us something to give to him. Great family business. Coming through. You're good. Damn right I'm good. Just kidding. Excuse me. Sorry about your hedges there. Where are you? Oh, you're right there now. I think that's you anyway. No, that's not you. You're right over here. Are you inside? Where the fuck? Oh, right there. Duh. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. Now what? My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? what? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Of course my it is. Insect. Excuse me. I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. <laughs> but they're gonna. They're gonna make you. Kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before, Mister. So what? You gotta help. No, what do I gotta do? I'll pay. My family. We've still got some money. 
After this conversation's over, I'm gonna Fine. have to go. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. All right, well, in the next episode, we'll mount our horse and see where where we got to go with this and see what it leads us to and what we got to do. So I want to thank you all for watching. And if you like what you see, I suggest you subscribe to my channel so you can see the new videos I post every single day. And if you really like the videos, I'd really like it if you could leave a thumbs up and a comment. That way I could have some interaction on my channel and know that people are actually watching and actually care. And if you want to know when I post my videos exactly when I post them, the best way to do that is to turn on your notifications as well. I will talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.